Jesus, you made the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, you silence me. Jesus, Jesus, you made the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, you silence me. Sing it out. Say, Jesus, Jesus. Can't deny your name. Can 
not be overcome In the name of Jesus, Jesus It makes the darkness tremble Jesus, Jesus You silence me Jesus, Jesus yeah, 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 yeah. You make the darkness tremble Jesus, Jesus Silence me, Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus. Silence me, Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus. Silence me, Jesus.
January in the month of February. He's been so, so good. We are alive today. That's how much He loves us and that's how much how good He is. He's been so, so kind. He's been so, so patient. He's been so, so merciful. He has provided for us. He has restored us. He has preserved us. And we thank you, Lord. Oh, we think back to how good you are.
sing a love song to him another time. Yerane.
a Dios is a king of Dios is a power Dios is a glory
presence is heaven to us, Lord. We choose to dwell in your presence, Lord God. asking our Father of Heaven, the Father who is in Heaven, to give us this grace. As for the first time, we hold prayers as we enter into another month, transitional prayers. And we'll be doing that for a couple of few minutes until uh, we get into another month together.
and that will be our custom in this year. Why? Because God spoke to me about the Jesus nation. This is a very important year where God is raising up a church, you know, where he, as Jesus, is the sovereign ruler before the second coming of his son, Jesus. And it is very imperative to understand how this is going to happen. You know, I was praying to God and I was asking God, I said, God, I shared with your people about the Jesus nation. And God told me that, yeah, there are so many people hate the revelation, but they are still operating from the individual spirit. All right? And that is what God doesn't want to see happening. Because God is not looking for somebody to have I, me, you know, and myself. God wants us to have a spirit. We, the church. That's why when Jesus was teaching how to pray, he never said, when you pray, say, my father. No, he said, our father. Because matters of the kingdom, whenever you want God to come in over your matter, God is not looking at you as a person. All the glory of Solomon was not in his, it wasn't for him. It was for the temple. So God blessed him because he had the temple of David. It wasn't about for him to be famous, pay his bills and be happy. No, it was all about the kingdom. So, you know, in the Bible, it was into them. I've seen so many women who admire Queen Esther, but it wasn't for her. She didn't have a mean spirit. She didn't have, I want to get married to a king because I have to. No. Oh, I've seen so many women quoting about, I need my own boss. You need your boss. Wow. They didn't have such mentality. They had a plural mentality. There was a kingdom. She had all the right to stay behind in Moab and get married again. But she had to, first of all, forsake herself, her ego, her career. Maybe she was even a nurse. Maybe she was a lawyer. But she said, all oh, this can stay. I want to fulfill my calling. You see, it is important to understand if we have to pray tonight and ask God to say, I need my life to change. It is when we understand the Jesus nation where God wants a nation that will not save individuals. But the primary reason will be, I want to be blessed so I can become a blessing to the church. I want to become this so that I can, be, I can become this too. That is the mindset that God is looking for. And God told him, he said, son, do you know why I don't show myself to other people? Do you know why some people will never perform miracles? They were born and they would die without actually performing a miracle. God told him, he said, you see, if people will just, can you imagine if you can just start walking on water as a miracle? The next thing you're going to make a show. Like, come and see. You take people in the swimming pool. Come and see. I can do it now. You see, it is so crazy how they need to move out from being a miracle that God did for his glory to now people praising you. So the reason why you will not perform miracles sometimes is because God knows that when he does it, you're going to come, you're going you're gonna to develop a, they must see spirit. Someone must watch this. So this, tonight, I want to put much emphasis. If you want God to move on your direction, to your direction, take out a me spirit. Take out of, I haven't done that. Talk about the, in the kingdom, in the church, I haven't done this this month. You must develop that first. I 
haven't done this. I haven't done much this month. You see, that is no longer in your mind. Oh, what is in your mind? I'm, I, I'm not saying everybody. I'm saying someone here. I'm, I'm not addressing you uh, 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 as all of you. But I'm just trying to make a teaching. You see, the moment that comes out of your mindset, where you begin to think, what have I done for God? And you can't feel sorry for that. You have not yet reached to a point where heaven can say, we can trust on him. We can put our investment on him. So it is all about you failing to sleep at night because you are thinking of your bills, your rent, your what, your car, your situation. And God says, oh, come on, I didn't bring you in this church because of you. I brought you here because of my kingdom. Can't you see all these issues around? So God, God is actually waiting for you. He's not looking just for you to say, oh, I'm here. I've given my life to Jesus. I am in church. No, God is looking. This is why. This is why. The first target in the church. Jesus, when he gave a parable, he said the first people to be invited to the banquet, which was um, a picture of the church. He said they the, the man who organized the banquet, he first of all went to invite the rich. And when the rich refused, he said, go now and call everybody in the streets. Because the, the, the set up of the kingdom, God is looking for the rich first to come. Why? Because they will not touch the world with the gospel if they're the poor. Can you imagine God is saying you are the light of the world? Well, you actually are in darkness. Jesus wants us to give. But we have people in the church actually who needs to be given. Does that make sense? It doesn't make sense because we need to go out and give. We need to be the light. We need, but what is happening? We have a me, I, myself, spirit, and mentality. And it is what is blocking God from doing something. And God told him, he said, tonight, just speak about this and tell the people. Because the meaning of what we're doing tonight, it is not something you just uh, woke up in the morning and say, I brought it as an innovation. No. What I'm doing to you right now, I do it every month. As an individual, as me. Listen, this observation of the new month is in your Bible. There was even a festival called the Festival of the New Moon. The word new month or month comes from a Hebrew word, Hodesh, which means new moon or new month. It is this period, prophets. Their eyes open so much. Hmm. What I'm telling you now, go and make a research yourself about the new moon and the prophetic. You, you're going to find that on internet that actually during the new moon is where prophets see most. And the moment I prophesy much, I normally do much prophecy during that season. Because it is a moment God opens up people's eyes and ears so that he can communicate to them in regard to the next month. That's why a new moon was given. You see a moon and then it disappears and then it appears again. God designed that not for fashion. He designed that for spiritual renewal. Am I talking to somebody? It is a moment of spiritual renewal. It is a moment you have to think about your life, your spirit, your calling, what you've done, what you're doing for God, for the kingdom. And it is a moment of spiritual renewal. So, Hodesh. Oh, okay, let's go to Numbers chapter 10, verse 10. All right, let me, just, let me show you something there. Numbers 10, verse 10, quickly. Also in the day of your gladness and in your solemn days. And then what? In the beginnings of your new months. You shall blow with the trumpets over your burnt offerings. 
and over the sacrifices of peace offerings that they may be to you for a memorial before your God. I am the Lord your God. Did you notice that the church stopped observing that? But do you know the New Testament is there? I can show you. Did you notice? It says during the new moon. It's, it's, it is not just, can you imagine how Muslims are capturing these things? You see Muslims during this season of the new moon, they, they actually know the spiritual meaning of a new moon than actually the church. It is religion that has taken so much in the church, in the board of Christ, to a level whereby we actually don't observe what we need to. So the new moon, the reason why God had to put the moon to appear and disappear, it is because at that moment, God wants us to renew ourselves. So in the prophetic, the new moon is observed. And interestingly, new moon was not announced basing on the calendar. No. When you check in the Bible, the new moon was not, they were not observing a calendar. Then they said, now it's new moon. No. It was being observed by the prophetic. So a prophet would come out and say, the new moon this year, will, this month will be observing on this particular day. But shockingly, that particular day was always in the month end of the month. Are you here? Yes. Now, so what happens in the new moon? The new moon, it is there for people to do something. One, to have a spiritual renewal, spiritual reconnection with their maker. Number three, it is also a moment where people give to God. All right? Go back to that scripture. I want to show you something. Also in the day of your gladness. Now, just give me NIV, all right? Uh, let me show you something there. All right, in, in NIV, all right? It says, also at your times of rejoicing. Bam. Time of rejoicing. You appointed festivals and new moon feasts. You are to sound the trumpets. Now, why trumpets? Why trumpets? It is during the new moon where they would proclaim victory. So they would, they would pre-arrange victory. To say in this month, we are not losing. In this month, we are not becoming poor. So they will, on the new moon, they would sound trumpets. Oh, I'm talking to somebody right here. They would blow trumpets. They would proclaim deliverance. They would announce victory before victory comes. So the Bible says on that day, on the day of new moon, it is also known as the day of rejoicing. So when we check the scripture, the Bible speaks of your day of rejoicing, the day of your new moon. So in this day, there is a need of everybody, every person to rejoice. I don't care how much it is hurting right this very minute, but I just want you to open up your heart and say, I declare this day a day of rejoicing. No, no, you're not saying it properly. So I declare this day a day of rejoicing. So why were they rejoicing? Why were they so happy? Why were they so happy? Why were they rejoicing? It says it is the day of a new moon. Sound trumpets. Sound them. Sound trumpets. It's, you must rejoice. Because during new moon, you proclaim deliverance. You prophesy you speak what is about to happen in the future and every moment myself my life ever since god called me in the prophetic every month and i declare a new moon i always rejoice and for those who are my students in the school of ministry in the isos i'll be having another class by the way uh in this month of march on the uh 14th all right i'll be having another class they know the meaning of a moon According to the Bible, the moon represents what? The moon represents the church. It represents the church. 
Now, why? Why is the moon? According to the book of Revelation, the moon represents the church. But why is the moon appears and disappears, appears and disappears? That tells you of the new beginning, new beginning, new beginning. Now, if the moon can prophesy the new beginning, why are you not moving alongside the creation? Can you imagine the moon is prophesying, declaring new beginning and you are not in the new beginning? Now, let me just show you something here. So the Bible speaks of, you are to sound the trumpets over your burnt offerings and fellowship offerings. So you find something there and there will be a memorial for you before your God. It says that two offerings you must give on that scripture. Two offerings, bent offering and your fellowship offering. It says when you do that, in that month, this, your giving becomes what? A memorial. You are to sound the trumpet. You are to announce victory. You are to announce deliverance in that month. Tonight we're about to pray. I want you to announce victory. Are you ready for this? Oh, yes. We're about to get into prayer right this very minute. For a few minutes from now. We're about to get into prayer. In Numbers 28 verse 11 to 15. I want you to read together. I want to go read. On the first of every month, on the first of every month, on the first of every month. Hear that? On the what? On the first of every month. Present to the present Lord. to the Lord a bent, a bent offering. offering of two young bulls, one, one ram and seven, seven rams. Nails. And all without defect. Now verse 12, the Bible says what? With each bull there is to be a grain offering of the three tenths of an ephah. Or the finest. Form. 13. And with each lamb a grain, alright? It must have a pleasing aroma. Now, Hosea chapter 6 verse 6. The Bible says what? The Bible says, For I desire mercy, yes, not sacrifice. Acknowledgement of God rather than bent offerings. What is this? So you find out that the people, because of observation of the bent offering and uh, uh, the fellowship offering, they started relying so much on their giving. So God said, no, 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 no. It's not your giving that I'm looking for. I'm looking for your heart, your repentance, your reconnection with me. Tonight, I want everybody to raise up your hand, wherever you are, as we reconnect ourselves to God. We're going to have a prayer of reconnection for two minutes until we enter into another month. This will be a prayer of telling God that reconnect me. I pray for a new beginning. I come back to you. I reconnect my spirit, my soul, my heart with you. It's a prayer of reconnection. A prayer of a new beginning. Almighty God will start with me again. Make that prayer. Make that prayer. Make that prayer. Just make that prayer for two minutes until we enter into another month.
palahaza kurate praade liga pala shanta kilo praaziko apaladia menta pahaza shakara masote pehazo menta praade pelekizo koshata kataka ramasusha clap your hands and pray manta laka susha parakilo kotokopa rakito apraate lekizo shakata Apalado, parakito akradia, me sufra ade, mento pro osoto kota, parakata katush, reke patahaza, parahazo, reke palahaza, shakata kata katush, perahazu, shakati amado, perahasunta ate, sheke pa asusha, reke pa azaya, melakunda, empaluda, rakatia tu shatakazia, rakato, rundu patusa, sheke pata, arakatu, hasu. Shalakate, Efra Atala Kusha, Manta Afrahiza, Shalakuta, Epaato, Rakata Katakata, Mero Koshata Kata, Masaka Rakato, Parakata Katakatosh, Reketa, Masuva, Pekete Katusha, Raka Palahusa, Epraata, Palakata Katiso, Reke Beendo, Shakata Kata, Raka Pasushe, Efra Katia, Mela Kusa, In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, do you just raise your hands to God as you recommend yourself to the Lord God Almighty? As we ask for the new beginning. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, just pray as worship together, as we sing this song of worship. Oh. bless everybody who is here tonight and you know as we are still on this prayer let's pray for Ukraine and let's pray for Russia let's pray for preservation of lives and let's pray you know if we will not do this who will do it if we will not do this such type of a thing I, I've been so much been following what's happening there with keen interest you know of course we can't stop certain things from happening because they are prophesied that these things will happen, these things will happen, this thing will happen. But as a church, we can actually stop a certain agenda from happening. You understand? So write this for a few minutes right now. I want you to raise up your right hand and follow me this prayer. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father we, your church, we, your church, we, pray, we pray for the people of Russia. For the people of Russia. And, we and we pray for the people of Ukraine. Just as your son Jesus Christ Christ commanded the peace peace. as the storm was blowing, blowing. we as your church, we we command peace peace. over Ukraine. Ukraine. Say in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. say it again, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. we command peace peace. in Jesus' name. Clap your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, so when we talk about the 
new moon uh, festival uh, where we pray in the new moon, it is really not necessarily that it must burden you. Okay? There are people who now begin to think, oh, so if you don't do the new moon, you're wrong. No, no. Actually, it is not something you do because you're being forced as a burden. When you check in the book of Colossians, chapter 2, from verse 16 to 17, the Bible says the new moon must not become a burden. Did you hear that? The Bible says it must not become a burden. Therefore, do not let anyone judge you by what you eat or drink. Or with regard to a religious festival, a new moon celebration, or Sabbath day. So when you check in the Bible now, Paul is talking about now, like the way now people do now, like, oh, you, you pray on Sabbath, or oh, we pray on Sunday. He says those things must not become things of, of an issue. Okay? Like when will you do it right or you do it, you know, wrongly? No. Even the new moon. So, but if you, if you check there in the, in the New Testament, you'll find that Paul, actually, he is telling the believers that he is, he is actually acknowledging that the new moon festival is being conducted in the church. But he is saying, no one must begin to judge you how you are doing it. Are you following? So Paul is even writing about it. That no one must judge you about new moon and about Sabbath. So how you do it, whether your, your seventh day is on Saturday, whether your seventh day is on Sunday... According to your calendar, he says, now no one must be able to judge you. So he observes. He observes the new moon to the church. He is writing to the church. Because one may be like, oh, there's no new moon in the... No, it's actually there. Even Paul wrote about it. That actually when you're doing it, no one must judge you how you're doing it. So new moon is even the New Testament where people must understand this. You must understand that God gives you another month for renewal, for a new relationship, for you to recommit yourself to God, for you to, to have a moment of prayer. Not only that, to sound trumpet and also to raise up an altar, to make a giving. And God says when you give that giving, God will use that giving as a memorial towards your life. He said, I will use your giving as a memorial. Now, so we're about to sound a, a little bit of a trumpet. Because we're now, because new moon is supposed to be done as you're to the end of the month and the beginning. So the whole day today, it will be a day of what? The new moon. The whole day today. We're in another month now. All right. But also remember, it, it, it also depends on which country you are in. <laughs> That's why it's the whole day and the whole yesterday. At the end and the beginning of the then it covers all planets. So whether others right now are in yesterday, whether others are in it today, they're all part of the new moon. Amen. Somebody say yes. 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 Hallelujah. So I want us to do something. You know, I don't know what you, what, what, what you believe in God for, but I want us just to proclaim victory. Now, trust you me. Prophetic ministry is crazy. Can you imagine me telling you, like, let's go. Let's go in the street. Then I take you in the street. Then I say, start making noise. People think we're crazy, isn't it? That's exactly what Gideon did. Can you imagine if I can just take all of you, like, let's go and start rotating the city. Let's start making noise. Begin to blow trumpets. Let's make noise. Let's surround the city. Seven times. Every day. Surrounding it. Are they crazy? Yeah prophetic ministry is not logical and it does not use philosophy this is why the people of israel they won battles where until today 
no one understand how did they win how what happened until today and you know any country can say anything about Israel. Trust you me. Until today, no any country can say anything about Israel. You see, Iran challenges everybody. But Israel goes to Iran, bomb all places of, you know, of nuclear, and goes back to Israel and says, it is us. We came there and we bombed your places. And Iran says nothing. But don't try it. <laughs> don't try it. <laughs> Do you know why? It is a simple answer. Very simple. Because God prophetically equips them. And I want every person who says, I need victory this month. I need victory. I want us to proclaim some noise here. I want us to shout, clap your hands, and just make some noise. Come on, just make some noise. And Woo! Just make some noise to Jesus. Triumphant voice. Make a sound and noise, make a noise. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. This is a victory. This is a victory. We sound the voice of victory. We shout the sound of triumph. We decree in the reigns of earth will triumph in this month in the realms of finances in the realms of diseases in any other realm spiritual realm any other realm we are triumphing in the name of jesus hallelujah give me a song there'll be victory here come on come on come i need it to be very quick and faster Victory here will be. There will be victory here. There will be. There will be victory here. Oh, we declare it. We declare it. There will be. There will be victory here. There will be. There will be victory here. There will be.
thank you. Whoo, hallelujah. I prophesy and I decree in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in this month of renewal. God has given us a promise. God will fulfill his promises over your life. And I stand here as a prophet, as God's servant in the name of Jesus. Let this month become a month that you have been believing God for. Let all his promises be yes and be amen. In this month, I decree and I declare, may you know God as the healer. May you know him as Rafa. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May you know him as Jehovah Erohi. Which means God who sees me. God who sees you. May he see you in this month. I decree in the name of Jesus. In this month, may God make things happen. And may he make them happen to our advantage. I decree this in the spirit realm. It shall materialize in the natural. Things will happen to your advantage. Whatever wrong was happening in your past or is happening in your present, they will all turn together to your advantage. In the name of Jesus, I proclaim, I prophesy, I decree, and I declare it shall come to your advantage in the name of Jesus. doing something in our midst and I can feel it and I can feel his glory I can feel his presence watch this watch this out all right I want to say something to you all right and I want to address you as a person personally you know um, so many things have been happening uh, some things really good and some things really bad you know and some things have been happening around you that you have so many questions than answers but God told me he said Tell her, he said, tell him that in this month they'll find answers. And I want you to know as we pray in this month, in, in this night, the transitional night, we're about to finish it all because it was just to be meant for us to pray. I just want you to understand something here, that God is expecting you to speak to him tonight. So we're going to have a moment of prayer where you should pour out your spirit and your heart to God and tell him exactly what you want him to do for you in this month. Pour out your spirit, pour out your heart as you celebrate, as you pray in the new moon, in the Hodesh, the new month. Pray to God to give you strength, to give you victory, to give you your petitions, your prayer points, to answer you in this month. And he is ready and faithful to give you. And I want to say something to you. All you have to do is to believe. That in this month. The month of March. It is number three of the year. For every person who understands. They will tell you the meaning of this month. It actually means what? It actually means anything that was not being accomplished it is for divine completion perfection it is a month where God will make things happen it is a period where you shall stand as David and say the Lord God shall perfect that which concerns my life it is month of number three. It is a month where God brings in divine completion. All projects that started and they were hanging, 
may they be completed in this month. We proclaim, we announce in agreement, and we declare in the name of Jesus. And we declare in the name of Jesus. Let everything you have been trying to do, which you couldn't see the end of it, may this year of 2022, this month of March, become a solution to your prayer points. Somebody say yes. yes. Somebody say yeah. yeah. Your, your yes is not loud and clear enough. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. As we pray, as we proclaim, as we announce, I also speak this to everybody who's here. That God will not just only going to help you. This is a relationship. You see, there are, there are eight relationships which are lost in the church. Did you hear that? Yes. What have I said? Eight one of the relationships is the new moon relationship. There are eight relationships which are lost in the modern church. Eight. I'm not making them to be eight. There are eight in the Bible. Eight relationships. This is why the modern church just knows fasting and prayer. They don't even know times. They don't even know seasons. They don't even know such and if you check prophets in the Bible, when they would speak so much revelations, it was during new moons. This is a very critical season. May God answer your prayer. I, I said, may God answer your prayer. Oh, glory be to God. I said, may he answer your prayer. So you're about to make a prayer now. For a few minutes, everybody, please, please don't be distracted. Don't allow the enemy to distract you because he knows that you're going to make it and he hates this type of a prayer. Tell God, tonight I'm not leaving here the same way I am. I need a miracle to happen to me. I need something. Watch this. As we are talking like that, I'm picking somebody. There are people who are planning your downfall. Check this. Do you know what the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 7 from verse 5? <sighs> there was a conspiracy. There was a plot. This plot was done by three countries, three peoples. Aram, Ephraim, you just go there, just go there. It says what? Aram, Ephraim, and what? Remalia. Son, uh, Remaria's son, have plotted your ruin. Your ruin. Can you imagine why people plot? And he didn't even know. And luckily, he met a prophet. Kayabashi Kayamanda. Can you imagine? You don't know nothing. You are actually a good friend of Remia's son. You are a good friend of Ephraim. And then you meet a prophet, and the prophet says, These guys are planning for your downfall. You didn't hear that. They were planning the downfall. Saying, Let us invade Judah, let us tear it apart. And divide it. What, what concerns me here is the division. Can you imagine the enemy planning just to bring in division in your marriage? Just, just imagine the enemy just planning to bring division in your family. Say, say they, they have planned saying, let us divide it. So they planned the downfall not by killing you. But just to bring in what? Division. From no way. You'll be finding divisions coming in. But watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Let us invade Judah. Let us tear it apart and divide it among ourselves and make the son of Tebel king of it. Can you imagine? There is already a king in Judah. They're like, no, 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 no. We remove that king and we find a son of Tebel and we bring him in. And make him a king 
instead of the one who's there. Can you imagine? You are who you are now, but there is a conspiracy somewhere. Let us take this out of him. Let us take this out of her life and bring in somebody to be a king instead. So right now we have got some Muslim somewhere else who is enjoying a kingly life which you are supposed to be enjoying. We have somebody somewhere else who is a millionaire now. Who you, in fact, it was supposed to be you being a millionaire. But the enemy said, nope, we are not going to allow this man to be a millionaire. It is better other people should become millionaires, not this woman. Some of you are supposed to be kings by now. But somebody is enjoying it. The devil says, we will not allow. You are not understanding me. These are prayers I make. Hear me. I, I don't joke on spiritual warfare. I don't joke. These are prayers I make at night. These are prayers I pray at the, at the mountain. I said, God, anyone planning to remove my cup, to remove my crown, whether he's a human being, whether he's a spirit, now I banish them. Because, you, you listen this, some of your crowns are not on you. Have you noticed the whole New Testament, the whole revelation deals with crowns in these days? He who shall overcome shall be given a crown. He who shall. How many times have you overcome the things? How many times did God give you crowns? Did you even know it? Did you even know it? You didn't even know it because somebody took your crown. Listen. It is so possible for somebody to take your blessing. It happened with Jacob. It happened with Ephraim and Manasseh. It is so possible. So they were planning this time around. But the problem is, they were planning over a wrong country because that country had Isaiah, a prophet. And right now, they are planning against a wrong woman, a wrong man, because you have a prophet, Major One. Powerful. Now, watch this. I, are, you, are you still following? Now, watch this. So they're planning. Now verse 6. Alright? Then the Bible says what? Verse 6. It says, Let us invade Judah. Let us tear it apart and divide it among ourselves and make the son of Tabel king of it. Now verse 7 says what? Yet, this is what the southern Lord says. It will not take place. It will not happen. I got every spiritual conspiracy and a demonic intervention. It will not happen. It will not take place. I remember one time. You know, I was uh, praying for somebody. Uh, he was an ambassador of a particular country. But he's a British guy. So, you know, he didn't know anything. So, he had to come for prayer. So, I was praying for him. And I said to him, I said, there's a conspiracy against you. You said to me. I said, yeah. He said, uh he said, uh, uh, you know, you know, there is a problem. Prophet is called. <laughs> you see, Africa has no spiritual affair. <laughs> but people from your country, America, yes. UK, they go like, what are they talking about? <laughs> you know, one time I was in America, and we, we planned to do a fasting. So I was there. And I'm all these Americans, and, and we said, let's do fasting. So we said, the fasting. So we said, the fasting will happen at their church. So I went there. It's a church, a big church, all right? Um, then we're there. Then around 11 in the morning, we just started. I see coffee is coming. <laughs> I'm like, is this coffee for us or... 
I see everybody saying, oh, hallelujah. We're going to have a small break in this fasting. <laughs> hallelujah. We're going to have coffee. Hallelujah. And I'm like, are they really serious or what's going on? <laughs> what's, go- <laughs> what's going on? And then we began to, 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 to uh, oh, then we had a break. Then I see everybody takes a coffee. Then they, like, then they begin to pray, oh, God, I thank you. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Ah, they will see, oh, praise be to God. I said, I said, oh, now I know why they like the supernatural. They like the supernatural. You see, let me say something to you. Where the world is going right now, people will not believe theory. You will not go in church and tell people, oh, there is God, there was Abraham. No, people want to see proof. Evidence. You must prove your story. We are back in the days of revolution. Do, 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 do you know where the world is right now? The world has gone back in the days of Paul. Where there was a serious revolution of the Greek. They were not just there. In, in those days, people were very scientific. They don't just believe you. They must see a snake biting you like this. And you're not dying. You throw it in the fire. And they say, listen to me, the people of his. Ah! So if you just go there, hallelujah, I pray. That's where your whole family, no one believes that you're born again. They actually think you're just joking. And they look at you, they, they're driving nice cars, they're living large, they're living well. And it is actually who's struggling and you're telling them about Jesus. They'll be like, well, what is he talking about? What are you talking about? Your sister, she's, she's, she's living well, she's living large, and, and she actually helps you financially. And you're telling her about Jesus. She's like, what are you talking about? This, these are the days of the glory. These are the days of the church. Where are you going to go to your sister? Where are you going to go to your sister and say, my sister, I want you to choose where you want, you want me to buy you a house. As she's thinking of choosing, you say, Jesus loves you. She'll say, I know, I know, I know. I want to receive him right now. <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. Here's again a wonderful reference scripture. So we are living in the wonderful, you see, the days where people must see. Not just hear. Like, oh, hallelujah. Praise be to God. God is the healer. And you have got many sick people in your midst. Hallelujah. So let's meet next week, Sunday. What are you talking about? I don't do that type of gospel. I don't do that. And I'm not interested in that type of gospel. I'm not interested. I'm out. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Tonight, don't allow the enemy to distract you. You're about to make a prayer for this month. God, remember me. God, open my doors. You will say, I command every channel of the spirit. Open up. Every financial channel, open up. Every spiritual channel, open up. Mary Kapaya, begin to make a prayer. Begin to make a prayer. Command every channel. Pray, pray, pray for the month. Pray for the month. Pray for the month. Pray, 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 pray. Pray for the month. Pray, pray, pray. Shaka palasito o praate. Reke palahase. Parahaso praate. Lige palahaso. Parahasia palatusha. Lenke praadi. Reke palahanto ko praia. Pasaka tapayati. Shelemenso. In Jesus' name we pray. As we are praying, just just in that, just don't move the way as we are praying. All right, I will be. I will, I, will, I will allow them to blow the trumpet. I will allow them to drop to blow a trumpet because in this festival, trumpet must be blown. Yes. All right, just blow that trumpet. As the trumpet is blowing, everybody get into prayer. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes. As the trumpet, the trumpet is blowing. I want everybody to go in prayer. Clap your hands. Clap your hands.
Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Just stand up wherever you are. Blow again the trumpet. Only the trumpet. Just blow again the trumpet. Just blow it. victory we decree the victory at the sound of a trumpet you see these are prophetic things we're doing right here you need to understand that even jesus christ will come at the sound of a trumpet you have to understand these are very prophetic very deep things we're doing just right now and we proclaim right this very minute victory in this month in the mighty name of jesus everybody clap your hands once again to the lord On Thursday, on Thursday, I am proclaiming a fast for Ukraine. On Thursday, anyone else, it's not mandatory, anyone else, but all my intercessors, it's, it's a mandate, all intercessors. On Thursday, I'll be having a fast with you, uh, Issachar, the tribe of Issachar, all intercessors. On Thursday, let us watch, and if God gives you a revelation, God gives you a word, please write them down. And I will send them to me. And at night, midnight on Thursday, I will have a report from all, all the visions and prophecies coming from all my sons and daughters across the world of Issachar, what God is showing us about Ukraine. We need to stay on the watch. Because what may look like is Ukraine and Russia. I didn't want to, I didn't want to prophesy about this issue. All right? What may look like Ukraine and Russia may become your country's issue. And I want you to hear me very well. It may become your country's issue. So on Thursday, we need to stand on the watch and pray. I'll tell you the day of Thursday. So we stand on the watch over the land. Stand on the watch on Thursday. Stand on the watch. Let's pray for peace for on Thursday. All right? Let's pray for peace on Thursday. Our lives preserved. We need to put so much pressure in the spirit. Are you understanding me? Yes. We need to, to put so much pressure in the spirit. Very much pressure in the spirit. So we're going to do that. And in, in, uh, in conclusion, every person tonight who would like to give your bent offering, your fellowship offering, to become a memorial before the presence of the Lord in this month, I would like just to bless you. You're going to just stretch your hand towards me as I bless you. Now, as I've said, that on the new moon, people give their what? Their bent offering. You know what is bent offering? Do you know what is a bent offering? <laughs> All right. 
So a burnt offering, fellowship offering, the two different offerings. Okay, so the burnt offering, it is the one that would go, hold it, put it on the fire until it burns. All right. So can you imagine your nice animal looking at it burning until it finishes? That's what it means, bent offering. All right? So it is a giving where you, you take something that you value most and you put it on the fire. It, that's why it was called the sacrifice. That's right. That's right. The sacrificial so this very minute, everyone else would like to give, whether sacrificial, fellowship is what you just give. Like, you know, we know we have a service like this. We have a fellow like everybody who wants to give their offering, that is a fellowship offering. But bent offering, sacrificial offering, they have to be given on the new moon. So anyone else who's giving now, the Bible says, and they shall become a memorial, a memorial for you. So if you're giving now, you, you, you're going to go to the website giving.ecgchurch.org. Giving.ecgchurch.org. Just go there and give. And if you are struggling to give, it does not mean that you can't give through the platform. It just means at that time you are struggling. After 20 minutes, try it again. Or the following day, try it again. All right? Just you, you keep on trying until you do your giving, okay? And everyone who will be giving now, I'd like to see your hand, stretch your hand towards me as I pray and announce a blessing. Let your giving become a memorial. A memorial. The Bible says your giving has reached before the throne of God and has become a memorial. I pray in the name of Jesus. May he see your giving. May he remember your giving. In the name of Jesus, may he remember your giving. As you give, may God look at your giving and remember his promises over your life. I bless you and I pray for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands for the Lord. Clap your hands. God bless you so much. Thank you for connecting. Love you. This is your father. Uh, major one here. Love you so much. Enjoy your new relationship with the Holy Spirit Amen. and with our Lord Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. Love you and shalom. You are watching Prophetic Channel. You are watching Prof